Welcome to BioVid episode 6. My name is Leslie Samuel and in this video I'm going to talk about the down and equilibrium and the driving force. Inside this video I'm specifically going to talk about what is the membrane potential, what is down and equilibrium, and lastly how this causes a driving force. Now I know what you're thinking, what in the world does this have to do with this picture? absolutely nothing. I just love this picture and if you were to pay attention to this video just as enthusiastically as these guys are paying attention, you'll be alright. Now before we get into looking at this, I want you to imagine something with me. You're at work and it's a very long day, everything is going wrong, maybe you're just having stress from your boss or whatever the case might be. But you're looking forward to the end of the day when you can go home and relax on the couch. The only thing keeping you going is knowing that at the end of the day, you'll be able to go home, lay down on the couch and relax. Keep that in mind as we go through the rest of this video. Now, what is the membrane potential? The membrane potential is nothing more than the charge across the membrane. And sometimes you'll see the symbol E sub M and that means membrane potential. So then what is the down and equilibrium? The down and equilibrium is the membrane potential at which the movement into the cell is equal to the movement out of the cell. And the symbol for this is going to be E sub ion. So whatever ion we're talking about, if it's sodium, it'll be E sub Na. If it's potassium, it'll be E sub K. We're going to use sodium in this example. And let's say sodium is moving into the cell. Why would sodium want to move into the cell? Well, if you remember from the previous episode, the inside of the cell has a negative charge and that's going to make the sodium attracted to it. So sodium is going to move in because of the charge. Now, as more and more sodium moves in, the concentration is going to be higher eventually on the inside than it is on the outside. And what's that going to do? It's going to cause sodium to move out. And it's moving out because of the concentration gradient. So sodium is moving in because of charge and it's moving out because of concentration and at a certain membrane potential, at a certain charge across the membrane, the movement into the cell and out of the cell is going to be equal. Now the down and equilibrium for sodium ion or the E sub Na is approximately 58 millivolts. So if the membrane potential is at 58 millivolts, sodium ion is relaxed. It's chilled. It's like this lady here relaxing on the couch after a long day of work. However, the membrane potential of a resting neuron ranges anywhere between negative 50 and negative 80 millivolts. Now is that anywhere close to the equilibrium potential for sodium ion? Not at all. And what is this going to do? This is going to make sodium ion extremely uncomfortable. Okay, This is the long day of work and the stress and all that stuff. It wants to be relaxed. It wants to be at equilibrium, but it can't be. So what is this going to do? It's going to cause a driving force. Sodium ion will want to rush into the cell. Now let's think about what this is going to do. If sodium ions, having a positive charge, rushes into the cell, what is that going to do to the membrane potential? Think about your answer. Now, are you positive that's the answer? I hope your answer is positive because it does make the membrane potential more positive and go closer to the equilibrium potential of sodium ion, which would make it more relaxed. Please hold on to that concept. We are going to need it later. So let's review a little bit. At down an equilibrium, Ions are extremely comfortable, quote unquote. If the membrane potential is away from that equilibrium potential for that ion, the ion becomes, quote unquote, uncomfortable. And this will cause a driving force for the ion to move. That's the end of this episode. I'll see you on the next one.